Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and make you feel good. All right, so we have some fragrances I purchased in May about the last week of April as well. Um, some empties, well, not really empties, but kind of sort of. And, um, oh, and then of course the Solterra body wash that I purchased that several people asked me um, now that I've been using it, what I think. So, let's get into it. Now, I did pick up um, a few new things to add as things go away. Like, for example, this is an empty. This is from the Terrium, the Brightener Vitamin C Body Wash. Y'all know I love uh, this brand of body wash. It is cruelty-free. Really good products, actually. They really do feel good on the skin. I like the green bottle, the peach bottle, and, of course, the oil, the shower body wash oil. Okay, I think it's Glow Serum is what it's called. But, um, yeah, this one's empty. So, with this one being empty, I just replaced it with a um, random purchase from, where did I get this from? From Marshalls. It just smells really good. This is Vitamins and C Beauty Sea Salt Peach. It's exfoliating and balancing body wash. Um, yeah, it just smells really good. So I just picked it up. No reason why. I do plan on going to Perrier, Perrier <laughs> website and see um, what um, the body washes are going for with the sale for the Memorial Day sale. So yeah, hopefully I can pick up something there. But um, yeah, I don't think this is cruelty free. Oh, it says I'm tested on people, not animals. Okay, so anyway, um, it just smells so good. <laughs> Like bright, like um, almost like artificial peach, like those peach gummy rings you eat. Um, yeah, so I picked this up, so that will replace that one. Also, um, if you've been around for a while, then you know I like humble um, deodorants, and I get these from like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or whatever. So this is an empty. This one was actually Moroccan Rose, and they are very fragrantful. So if you want a deodorant that's like cruelty free one of the more natural like deodorants this one is um no aluminum no alcohol no dyes colors whatever right they actually smell <laughs> for a while like you'll just you smell this especially if you work out with this so this one was the rose one i actually really enjoyed the rose one a lot and as you see that's it ain't no more so yeah, I'm on to eucalyptus and something now. I don't know. I just pick these up as I go. I like the lavender and vanilla one too. But definitely check these out. They're normally like four or five bucks. They actually really work. I use them while I'm running, working out in the gym, all that good stuff. All right, so for the month of May, I concentrated on like using like specific products to, um, you know, start getting rid of stuff and um, saying I'm only going to use this, right? So for the month of May, I pretty much used Not A Lotion from Julia Has A Gun. This one actually came from Twisted Lily. Um, they sent me two and then I bought one. So I have one that's left that hasn't been opened yet. But um, this is pretty much what I use um, all month long. If you follow me on another channel, you already know. I already talked about this as a favorite for uh, May. But as you see here, I literally use this all over my body every morning, every night. And this is just a really nice lotion. But it's moisturized. I don't know if you can see. It is moisturized. I'm putting it on. Um, and it smells really, really good. That clean, musky, and boxing uh, fragrance. And it pretty much works underneath everything. Like, literally, everything I um, wear, it works well under. So, um, yeah, this one's just about to go. I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this up in the coming weeks. And then move on to a, another body lotion. Probably the Cantu. Shea butter one, I really like that one too. Now for summer, it's hot here in Houston, so I try to make sure I use a lotion um, in the morning, like a lighter lotion, not a heavy butter. And then at night, I could do butters, oils, or whatever. So when I wake up in the morning, my skin is still kind of moisturized. And this is just, ba basically, this is adding a little bit more moisture and uh, fragrance. That's what this is doing. So yeah, so that was pretty cool for the month of May to actually almost go through a bottle like I literally was every morning but it's not it's not a big bottle for the price it's not a big bottle at all this one was only 250 mils it's eight is it eight eight point four fluid ounces so it's not even like yeah it's, it doesn't take long but it feels good it feels really good it takes a while to get into your skin it doesn't just absorb quickly um so I don't put this on the bottom of my feet 
You can see my hands. I don't put this on the bottom of my feet when I'm um, wearing this uh, with sandals. Because, girl, you slide out your sandals, okay? All right, so what else did we buy for May? So, in I think the last week of April, we purchased um, La Fleur Bouquet. And this is from Offnon. This is so pretty. This is a beautiful scent. I told you all it reminds me. Girl, somebody put on... Uh, I think it was Fred Granska that it smells like Baccarat. Please stop. No, ma'am. So this is just sparkling, fruity, like watermelon, lychee, like um, mouth-watering, kiwi type of scent. Like, it reminds me of that. This is just a fruity floral, um, more similar to My Way from Giorgio Armani, more similar to uh, La Patrice from Dolce & Gabbana, those type of mouth-watering uh, fruits. That's what this smells like. So, still like this scent. I wore it a couple times in May um, on hot days, fresh. I would say about four hours longevity. But um, this is something I could just throw into a travel spray and put in my purse if I wanted to. But these are like running errand, no-brainer, fresh, clean, fruity, youthful fragrance. So, yeah, I definitely think that um, it's worth the money. What was it, like 20 something dollars on Fragrance Buy? Uh, being the holiday weekend is probably... Um, on sale even cheaper but anyway this is Fleur Bouquet and this is from the house of Offnon all right so I also purchased uh, two fragrances from All Her Main um, this month we purchased Ultraviolet as well as um, the white edition of Amber Oud so found out that Amber Oud white edition basically is a clone or a dupe of um, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and um, yeah, it is. It's the patchouli in here, but it's sweet. It's pretty. It's sparkling. It's definitely, you know, brunch appropriate. All the places that you would wear, Mademoiselle. I mean, every day. It could be someone's signature scent, and it's more affordable than buying that. Um, I didn't even pull out the um, other sample, the little, so I can say more about it. But anyway, we're talking about this right now. This is really good. I think it's worth it. Definitely the price of what you're spending for this. And um, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Definitely a really good dupe. I should say that. But um, yeah, our main does really good fragrances anyway, whether they're duping or doing their own fragrances. So would I suggest this one? Definitely if you like that type of um, fragrance. Um, if you're into that type of fragrance and you like the patchoulis with the fruits and the flowers, then you might like this. So, yeah, this is the white edition. I pretty much have all the ones I want except for the gold edition. But, you know, I had that in the past. Talked about it so much, but I ended up giving it away. I am, um, there girl just waiting for it to come back, okay? Anyway, so the other one that we picked up was Ultraviolet. I actually wore this the other day and, um... Yeah, it's floral. It is sweet and floral and pretty, but it's so heavy on the floral. Um, like the jasmine and like, I'm saying like jasmine, gardenia, rose. I'm seeing that like when I smell this. I don't think everybody would like it, but people who like floral fragrances will. Like I said, I still don't know if it's duping anything, but it smells good. It smells pretty. Very feminine. Um, yeah, very feminine. Very for me. Anyway, so this is ultraviolet. I would definitely say go get that girl. Get that from Joma Shop. I think it was Joma Shop that I got this one from. The only thing about this one is I want to say when I found this, it was $40. I think I said this. And now it is expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive. I think somebody told me the four ounce or six ounce or something like that was a hundred dollars. Like what? Anyway, it's holiday week. When, when this go on sale at uh, FragranceBot.ca or Drum Shop, go get it. Don't get it at no more than like $45, $50. Yeah, it, mm -mm, it's not worth all that. All right, so let's talk about the Latafas that I picked up for the month of April and that last week. No, the last week of April and then of May. Um, So this one is Opulent. It's not Opulent White. What is this? Opulent Musk. And this is a very pretty scent. It's very musky and florally. It's a lighter version to me of Opulent Red. I think this is perfect for layering. So if you want that added um, brightness, it's kind of bright. Um, I don't know if it has saffron, but it's not like it has saffron in it. Bright, pretty, uh, white and like uh, fluffy white floral. This is a very pretty mouth watering 
Um, I almost got like, yeah, it has to have saffron here. This is a really good scent. I like this. I have worn this several times with other fragrances because it's perfect for layering. Good longevity, good at uh, sillage and projection as well. I definitely recommend this whole lineup. This, the black, the blue, and the red for sure. Opulent white. Definitely go get that from the House of Tafa. Now, also in uh, May, I went ahead and picked up this one, and this is um, Opulent Oud. So this is a more stronger, deeper, fall, winter-like fragrance. Definitely um, when it's cold outside. This right here reminds me of... Um, um, the oud that's in Shaga food, and it's sweet and it's oudy and it's good. Yeah, it has something in it at the top, like um, a cumin spice, something like that. But when it dries down, I really enjoy this, so I'll probably be wearing this. Um, definitely come winter, so I didn't get but like one use out of this because it's hot, it's 100 degrees. I'm, I'm not wearing this right now. But I do like it, and I think it's worth the money. Um, definitely something you can layer with. Someone put in the comments, too, to use this to layer um, a lot of fragrances for, like, fall and winter or whatever. So I'll be doing that for sure. Yeah, it has something in it. Um, before it dries down, it reminds me of, like, musk. Like someone's been, just started playing basketball. <laughs> but they are, but, and it's sort of sweaty and a little musty. And um, with a fragrance on it. But when it dries down, but uh, cumin, um, a lot of those fragrances like cardamom, cumin, is it cardamom, cumin, and something else smell a little musty to me sometimes. Yeah, but when it dries down, that kind of fades away. So yeah, I like this. I think it's worth the money. What are these, like 30 bucks? They can get like all three, red, black, white, for like 100 bucks or something on Amazon. So definitely check it out. Um, yeah, wasn't the best buy, but you know, cause it's hot, but, um, I'm, I'm glad I got it for the price it was. It might've been $26 on Amazon when I found it. Yeah. It's starting to do its thing. All right. So I did purchase three more Latafas for, girl, I don't know how many, this is ridiculous. I, I, this is ridiculous how much I bought this month. But anyway, um, everything was very affordable and everything together probably equal one fragrance anyway. So yeah, we did buy the Latafa Yara. Uh, fragrances and this is a top of Yara, but this is the yeah, I forgot which one this is. I'll put it on the screen anyway. So, this is the white bottle, and yes, these do come off, so you can just have the bottle if you just want it. And uh, uh yeah, <laughs> y'all so silly. Every time I smell this, uh, y'all, I just start laughing. Yeah, so I like this scent, it does have this like popcorn note to it to me. Um, nutty popcorn, like, um. Sweet popcorn, duh. Kettle corn, like popcorn. With some flowers and some sweetness to it. Like um, something drizzled on top. So I do get that, but I actually like this. So yeah, I'll be wearing this definitely uh, this summer. I can wear this and get away with it because it's not really heady or anything. I think this one's worth the money too. You can get these um, in a set too for like 100 bucks or 20 something, $30 a piece on these. But... Yeah, so this still sweet. It still has berries and, and pretty florals in it. Um, but in the beginning, you, I get that hint of like a more of a sweet kettle corn popcorn. But I like that scent in fragrances. If you remember, I also have another one that I like that has that note like reminds, well, it actually says popcorn. This one doesn't. Yeah, so I like it. And um, for those who say it smells like Fritos or feet, oh my God. <laughs> Fragrance is definitely subjective, but I like this one. Yeah, I do. All right, so this is the original uh, Yara from the House of the Top, but this is the pink bottle. This is the one I like the most out of all of them in that line, and this is so good. This is creamy cheesecake with berries. I mean, with a little dusting of vanilla powder on top. So I'm obsessed with this one. Y'all know this is in my top uh, 15 for um, the year for... Um, so far, of Middle Eastern fragrances that I have in my cabinet. This is good. This is good. Is that the, it, it's, it's in there. What is it? What is it? Number six or something? It's in the lineup. All right. So this one, I love this one. This one was a, um, what do you call it? A um, honorable mention because it's definitely a masculine scent. Definitely, yeah, apple male scent for sure. This is so good. So they um, say it dupes or clones um, 
Savage Elixir. And I mean, this is what my sheets smell like right now. It's what my drinks in here smell like right now. This is a beautiful scent. Love this scent. Obsessed with this scent. Um, definitely worth the money. Even if it's just a house spray. It lasts like today, tomorrow. I'm going to still smell this. And I, I don't have to spray my sheets for like three or four days with this. But y'all know I'm washing sheets every three days. So, But anyway, this is um, Assad. And this is from that same house. Uh, Latafa within that same um fragrance line so definitely check that out um for yourself or for um your loved one or whatever the last fragrance i purchased in the month of may was club de nuit imperial so this is number one out of my 15 top favorites um that i currently have in middle eastern fragrances that are affordable fragrances and girl i wore this yesterday <laughs> I've worn this probably six times since I've had it. Like, nothing else has been really sprayed. I've just been spraying this. So, this is good. And when the price go back down to, you know, a reasonable amount, would it makes sense. This, this this number two would be in the cabinet just waiting. Um, Yeah, this is good. Just how I felt when I had purchased um, Amber Oud Rouge. And I was so excited. I would talk about it every day, every other week. Every top 10, every top five, it was in there every time you turn, you know, in your head, right? I would brag, I got another bottle because this is good. You know, I was going through them. That's how I feel about this. This is really, really good. This is definitely worth the money. I would say it's $60. It's still worth the money because this is good. Um, what does it smell like? It's sweet. It's floral. It's musky. Got a little incense in it. And it just reminds me of Delena Exclusive plus something on top. And that something is a little bit sweeter a little bit um heavier it's not dense to me like when i spray it it's not coming off until i wash it off it just smells dense and i really enjoyed this so this is um imperial all right so let's get into these four body washes that i picked up and i was excited about them and this is stored in order all right so this one is Saltera, but this is black tie and this is skin hydrating serum body wash so I do like the consistency of this one. I do like the way it feels when you put it on. It definitely has something in the body wash. It's not like a soap. It's a soap, but um, yeah, even though it's like this, and y'all know I like white, thick body washes, it lavender, it lavenders. What? It lathers <laughs> like a um like a thick body wash. It's really weird, but I like this one. I'm just not a huge fan of the scent, but I like this one. I would definitely use it. I mean, I ain't going to show us. I mean, I'm not getting trash in it or anything. All right, let's see. What's next? Okay, so I would say... Oh, well, that one's empty. Okay, so I would say the next one would be Exotic Pulp Skin Brightening Serum Body Wash. I don't know if it actually, like, works in brightening skin and doing all the things that it claims. However, I do know it smells good to me. Yeah, this smells like um tangerine or something orange, like peel, the peeling of it, not actually like the juice or the pulp. But um, I mean I use it. I would say it's probably like right here. All I use this month was Saltera and that Naturium. That's that's all I use. So for you know, after the gym, nighttime for bath, you know, I wash you know, shower showering once and then bathing at night. So that's twice a day I'm using these products and yeah, this is all I use was soft hair, basically. So this one is pretty much empty. There's hardly nothing in here. If it's something in here, I probably can get some water in to put in the tub. But this is Santal Bloom Skin Rejuvenating Serum Body Wash. I like this one. I like this one a lot. It's just very, uh, the way the bottle looks, minimal, right? It just reminds me of a minimalist, um, softer, fragrant body wash. So for those people who don't want a lot of fragrance, right? Yeah, it smells extremely clean. Like, this would be a beautiful base of a clean skin scent to a clean ingredient fragrance. Like, that is like, you know, your citrus with the little musk and the embroxing, like, kind of scent. Like, like me using this, this, and then, like, a Julie has gun on top, right? It's just very clean, nothing added to just basic um, body wash. And evidently, I like it because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so last but not least, I love this one. And let me tell you, this is number two. <laughs> this was number two. So I purchased all four of these, and I told you all about them. And like I said, that's all I've been wearing. 
And when I come from the gym, I like this invigorating scent. It reminds me of clean bamboo scent. Like, um, Erin Beauty has a bamboo rose-like scent. It kind of reminds me of clean. Like, not quite the scent, but it reminds me of that. Oh, this smells so good to me. Okay. Like a light bubble bath with that clean bamboo ingredient. So this one says Lush Green Skin Balancing Serum Body Wash. Really, really like this one. So I ran through the first one. I was just using it every day after the shower. Every day after the shower or every day when I come out from the garden. And um, and I just use this for like, this is basically the one for daytime shower. So I ran through the bottle and just went and got another one. So I'm probably like right here on this one. I can kind of feel it. Yeah, maybe like right here. I mean, they're like 10, so yeah. I like this, though. I like the products. I probably would not purchase um, this one again. Um, would I purchase this one again? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Girls like this one and the pink one, but definitely would purchase these two. Just for like when I want something that's like clean or whatever. And then I like this one for out of the shower. It was good now repurchase it. I did. <laughs> anyway. So, I think that's it for the month of May. If I bought anything else, I didn't really get any candles. Um, I went to place an order on some, and then they didn't let me use the coupons. So I backed out. Um, but for the most part, I purchased... I buy any other fragrances. For some reason, I feel like I bought something else. I did buy something, just has not showed up yet. And if it comes tomorrow, we'll do a whole separate review on that. And then I'm going to go over a house with you all that I have started picking up fragrances for again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you had an amazing um holiday weekend. And um yeah, I hope this video finds you well in a good place, a good space, a good mind. Um and I will see you all in the next video. Peace and blessings.